Hi. So here's something you might not know or indeed care to know about me, but I am a sucker for DIY. And it's been a while because circumstances. So recently I decided to take to social media and look up some cute amigurumi pattern, something simple, something easy, I don't know, something cute, just spice up my world a bit by doing a bit of manual creation. Instead of that, what I actually found completely blew my mind. A fuzzy worm stole. Something I did not know I needed, but now I know that this pattern is out there. I feel a void, an emptiness in my life that desperately needs to be filled. So this pattern is available for download for free on Silver Ox's website, which I will, I'll link all of this in the description. But honestly, Silver Ox, I'm in love with you. So now I need to run down to the fabric store and try and figure out some fabric to make this. Yeah, some shade of purple or blue or maybe rainbow colored. This also means that I have to go outside. But sacrifices must be made in the pursuit of the fuzzy worm stole. Going outside time is never something I look forward to, but um, yeah, let's do this. Let's go and, and face the world. I am now ready to go out and face the world. One fuzzy worm at a time. <laughs> okay, so this was my fuzzy worm when I was a kid. I need to put my phone down. Hold on, hold on. So... Here he is, his name's Nigel, and uh, he's lost his eyes, unfortunately, so he can't see anymore. He's also starting to come apart uh, at the top. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm kind of, I don't, I don't want to touch him because like, I'm afraid I'm going to damage him even more. He's also got an elastic band wrapped around his tail, and I don't know why. I'm going to try and remove it. Oh, there it goes. He's coming apart so bad. I don't know why. Maybe that's why he had an elastic on him to sort of stop him from coming apart. So here he is. <laughs> He's so old. I don't know how old he is. I remember having to like hide him away from one of my dad's friends. But I can't remember why. <laughs> like, I don't know. One of the adults in my family or in my dad's family friends uh didn't like this thing for some reason but yeah i still love you nigel okay i'm on my way to the fabric store right now and driving along these hopelessly windy roads because i live in normandy and yeah <laughs> i need to turn the music down because uh i did i have already been flagged in a video for copyright for music that was just playing in the background Okay, so I've arrived at the fabric store and uh, yeah, it's a pretty miserable and grey day. My car is in such a mess. I've got my like anti-frost cover thing, which is actually too small for my car because I had a tiny car before. Now I've got a big car. I need to buy a bigger cover. This fabric store is like 25 minute drive from where I live. Because <laughs> I live, like, I live, you know, when, like people say like, Nowheresville, Normandy. I actually do live in Normandy. And there was fucking nothing around here apart from cows and tractors. There was one back there delivering hay because I'm in San Lo right now. And San Lo is like the world, well, not the world, but like the French capital for anything horse related. It's like San Lo and Saumur. Like Saumur does the dressage and we do uh, the show jumping. I used to do show jumping when I was a kid and I used to come here a lot <laughs> to do a lot of shows here and I actually won the Normandy championships one year I think it was 2002 uh so it's going back a bit but yeah I always thought I wasn't very good but I did win quite a few times so maybe I wasn't that terrible so even like in the middle of San Lo which is like the biggest probably one of the biggest towns in the local area it's so you still get like tractors blocking the roads with massive massive uh, trailer loads of hay and straw because they need to go to all the horse places anyway i'm not here for horses i'm here for fuzzy worm realness 
I am not leaving this world until I get a fuzzy worm stole. Okay, I have it. I have the fabric. Here it is. So they only had black uh, in faux fur, black and a very, very hideous shade of brown, which is a tad disappointing, but I guess uh, I am an unforgivable goth. So maybe it's appropriate anyway. The only thing that concerns me is getting this uh, confused with my cat Shadow, who is also very black and very fluffy. So now I have some shopping to do and then I will get home and make this thing. Hey tractor, again, because um, yeah, I live in Normandy and there's tractors everywhere. Is that the same tractor? No, it can't be, it couldn't have gotten all this way because when I left it was still, it was still in the same spot. So it's a different one. The joys of living in Normandy, being held up in traffic by tractors for kilometers and kilometers and kilometers. Yes, I am coming to feed you. Just, just give me a second. There we go. Lots of grub for you too. Mm, this is where all the hay goes. The hay from the tractors into the stomachs of these two beasts <laughs> and they are always hungry oh you are so cute yes you are so are you you're so beautiful little pony i've just realized all the animals i've ever owned have been black apart from yugo here who is this weird yellow sand color say hello but apart from him <laughs> uh shadow is black hodor is black so is hoshi and so is the little pony i had when i was a kid so and i also used to have a rabbit that was also black and it was completely involuntary for all of them so yeah <laughs> maybe it's his fate that my uh giant fuzzy worm is also going to be black I think I am going to call him Dark Nigel. <laughs> I have printed out the pattern and I am currently in the process, like I've put it all together and I am in the process of cutting it up. So my boyfriend has just met Nigel for the first time and he didn't know what fuzzy worms were. Like he didn't have these when he was a kid because um, his parents could afford toys with batteries and mine couldn't. So yeah, I guess that's what makes the big difference between us is like, <laughs> if you had rich parents, you probably had cars with like radio, controls which i never did like seriously i had one battery powered toy it was this train set and whenever i got it out to play with it it was such an event like i would get it out about once a, once a month and my dad would help me and i'd like bring it down take it out of its box and we put it all together and then make sure the battery still worked in it and i would play with it for about an hour and then religiously put it back in. It was like something that was super special and it was such an event <laughs> to bring it out. So like having battery powered toys when I was a kid was just not a thing. So of course I had fuzzy worms. Like of course I had Nigel, Nigel was my best friend. And then the early noughties swam around and we started having rechargeable batteries and that was just, such a life changer okay so now i've got all the pieces cut out now i can just go ahead and cut out a dark nigel
sewing some of this together to this is going to be awkward maybe if i turned it on it might work a bit better there we go i feel like this could use a pretty heavy duty needle because the fabric is quite thick i'm scared don't do it up too tight Ugh. okay let's let's try this let's give it a go let's see what happens take a leap of faith My boyfriend actually walked in uh, right when I was in the middle of doing the Dark Nigel and saw the pelt which I had on my knees or on my chair at that point and actually thought that Shadow was sitting on my knees. So it's official, this thing is exactly like Shadow and my boyfriend actually got the two confused, so yeah.
my boyfriend gave me a hand choosing the eyes and so I realised I have this ludicrously eclectic uh, collection of buttons and the reason for that is when I was at high school I was obsessed with buttons. I went to a very art focused high school and one of the things that I did was I bought these ginormous colourful buttons and sewed them on my bag. Like we all had these East Pack bags and it was just everyone like did embroidery on them or sewed patches on them and so I did embroidery on mine and I thought it'd be cool to put some buttons on it. Uh, just something that I'd seen in an embroidery tutorial. And I met up with this girl uh, a few years ago who was at high school with me and we didn't know each other when we were at high school but like she knew, we knew each other by sight and she told me that apparently I was the first one like I was the one who set the trend for the buttons on backpacks uh, at high school and I didn't know this because like I had buttons on my backpack I didn't think anything of it and then I noticed that other people did as well but I didn't realize that I was the first one to do that so I guess the first and only time probably in my entire life that I ever set a trend was uh, my ridiculously art focused high school where it was just a thing to sew and just do crazy things with our backpacks so yeah that's why I kind of have this insane collection of crazy looking buttons because I would kind of had a button thing uh, during my late teenage years.
what do you think? Do you like your new brother? Hey? Hey, beautiful. I mean, the resemblance is quite uncanny. No, nothing to say. Okay. So that's it for this DIY vlog, Fuzzy Worm Stole Adventure. I definitely feel like Dark Nigel has filled a void in my life and Silver Rocks, you gave me something I didn't know I needed and I will be eternally thankful to you. And in case you're wondering, I did get the amigurumi patterns I was looking for as well. I'll link them in the description if you're interested in making these. They are super, super fun. So I got the uh, Grim Grinning Goats, Goats by Grim Grinning Goats. Yeah, and uh, this is a zombie cat and I am currently making more. I need to make a giant one of these, like definitely do. And more of these because <laughs> this is so it's just adorable. It is the very definition of creepy cute and I love it. So I'll link those in the description if you're interested in making them as well, because uh, you can also find people who sell these uh, if you don't know how to crochet. Just ask YouTube, there's a bunch of tutorials there because crochet and amigurumi is really making a comeback right now. It's super, super popular at the moment. So this is the best time to learn because everybody's doing it on social media. And uh, Silver Rocks also has a video to like um, explain how to make the fuzzy worm stole, uh, which I'll also link in the description. So you can also have your one of these if watching me making it wasn't entertaining enough yeah <laughs> so that's it from me uh, congratulations if you made it this far into this more of my everyday life i guess video than me rambling on about books i do want to make more videos about different things like music that i listen to because the kate blanchett video was super fun and i had a lot of people like in the comments recommending more bands that could be like recommended to non-metal heads and so i, I do i want to like talk more about the music that i listen to and just, I don't know, try out different things. So yeah, this was an experiment. Tell me what you thought in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And as usual, don't forget to love, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye. It's Nigel. Everybody loves Nigel. Nigel has feelings too.